I first visited Jerusalem in 1971 and like all visitors was immediately fascinated by this ancient modern city, the centre of three religious faiths, Judaism, Christianity and Islam. I was also fascinated by the tremendous variety of buildings and each building had its history and I decided that I would try to map the history of Jerusalem from the earliest times, from the time when it was King David's capital, right through to the building up of modern Jerusalem in the mid-19th century. And each of my maps shows a different phase. It shows Crusader Jerusalem, it shows Muslim Jerusalem, it shows the development of Jerusalem in the 19th century, it shows Jerusalem under British military rule, it shows Jerusalem as it developed under the British mandate, and then the Jerusalem of conflict in 1947, the siege of Israeli independence in 1948, partitioned and then reunified in 1967. I tried to show many facets of the city's development. I have a map on the problem of water supply in Jerusalem, which is a problem, of course, throughout the Middle East. I have a map on the parks and gardens developed in modern Jerusalem, which has become very much a garden city. Each map has on it some text, information, statistics where needed, everything you need to know to understand that particular aspect which the map is talking about. I even have a map of the great kibbutz, Ramat Rachel, which is inside Jerusalem's city boundaries and what happened to that in peace and in war. I've been very fortunate that my publishers, Routledge, who have published nine of my atlases, have now published this atlas and enabled me to bring it right up to date. So it includes the terrible aspect of the suicide bombs in Jerusalem and also the tremendous efforts being made in Jerusalem to bring together Israelis and Palestinians and it has maps of the plans for the future of the city when it will once again be a city of peace, prosperity and unity of peoples.